I would like to also congratulate Megan Meese for receiving her award. I am truly honored to receive the Milken Educator Award. First of all, being rewarded for having the best job in the world seems very surreal to me. I was asked to share something about myself tonight, to share who I am as an educator and as a person. It would, to share something, it would help to know where I work, Stevens Elementary School. At Stevens, we come together to ensure the success of our students, and I am just one small part of it. It's like the old saying, it takes a village to raise a child. I am fortunate to work alongside amazing teachers that I would consider family, and my beautiful wife also teaches there, and she's here with me tonight. I could not do this without her. We are led by an administration that always puts students first. There are several community organizations that support our students and their families. We are grateful for our parents who partner with us to ensure their child reaches their full potential. But to really know us at Stevens, you need to know our students. Nearly all of our families live in poverty. Malnutrition, homelessness, abuse, violence, and drugs are just a few of the added challenges faced by our students. Many of our kids are responsible for getting themselves and younger siblings ready for school in the morning. Our students overcome these challenges and come to school only to give us more through hard work and their caring. Here are a few examples of the extraordinary things our students do every day. They show up to school with a smile on their face. They are meeting state growth indicators in reading, math, and writing. After being recognized on Wednesday, I went back to my desk to find a pile of cards and pictures from students. A first grader that I only spent time with because of a discipline issue walked up to me and shook my hand. Just this week, a teacher was speechless when a student presented her with an advent calendar to take home to her daughters. Another student saved up her and used her own money to buy a fancy pair of shoes for her teacher. When a student's mother passed away because of cancer, or from cancer, a classmate got the whole school involved in raising money for cancer research. Because of the great things our students do every day, we get the opportunities to also be great. Our students are the ones who shape us into excellent educators and people. Thank you, have a wonderful evening.